Well, one of the neat things about Epics is that we actually have what I lovingly refer to as an absolute grant of right. Um, a lot of distributors of theatrical motion pictures on television are really limited to television and very specific forms of television, which window, um, what they can do with those titles, and, and, and where they can put those titles. By that I mean linear television, right? VOD rights are generally different. Um, uh, you know, streaming over the internet, those rights are definitely different. For us, we're not limited by any platform changes. So, Andy, if you and I invent a way to put, um, uh, you know, feature films on, 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 on eyeglasses in the next, you know, 20 minutes or so, Epics can work with you to actually put movies on that device, assuming that device were to exist, uh, without having to go back to our studio partners and cut a new deal or negotiate a new rights split or, or really do anything. We're ready to rock and roll. So as we look at the proliferation of new devices, new platforms, new players, new experiences, new ways to consume that HD video, we're ready to go. The biggest challenge for us is working with the folks that control those gateways, uh, basically establish those gateways, I should say, into determining who can see what, when, where, and why, and how. For us, again, it's very simple. If we're in business with you guys, we can do whatever we want to do, but we have to make sure the economic model is right. We obviously work with um, cable operators uh, very, very closely, uh, Cox, Charter, Mediacom, Verizon, Fios, Dish. Um, uh, you know, those guys control the access for us, and we enable the service on their behalf. Okay, so give us just some idea how big you guys are in terms of you know audience size, streams, views, uh, inventory. Give us just a kind of a, a quick overview. Well, I'll give you the easy answers first. Uh, okay. Our inventory is zero. We have no inventory. We're a premium subscription product. Um, we're distributed in about a third of the house television households in the United States, in addition to Netflix. And obviously, our distribution footprint is you know continually growing and you know continually being expanded on. Um, uh, I don't think we've announced anything recently in terms of subscribers or. Revenue, so I'm going to you know, plead the fifth and keep my mouth shut on that. But suffice it to say, uh, our usage continues to grow and demand continues to exceed our expectations, especially as we start to deploy availability of um, on-demand services tied to your cable television account on devices like a Roku or an Android tablet or you know, who knows what tomorrow will bring. What devices are they available on now? Epic. Um, well, we're on Android across the board, so your Android phones, your, your Android tablets. Uh, Microsoft may or may not have shared the fact that we are actually building for Xbox. So when Microsoft does something in the uh, uh, month of December to enable their new dashboard system, they're deploying some new interesting things around that. So you'll see an Xbox app on, uh, on, on, on Xbox. Um, and uh, obviously we're sort of holding the bacon a little bit on the iOS front. Uh, we have some authentication issues to work out with our partners, but uh, we've got an app in the store and we're ready to rock and roll. We'll probably see that in the next couple of weeks. Fantastic. Great to see you, man. Yeah, likewise. Thanks, Andy. Good to see you.